What's going on? We back with the Boxing Clinic of Morris. Your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time we grinding. And I believe that Jamal Charlo should show up to Canelo Alvarez and Triple G2 and um, see if he can get the smoke with the winner. All right. But I also already know that the WBC has been in contact with the Jamal Charlo, letting him know what's going on, what's going to happen after this fight, if this scenario happened. I think they already know the play for the winner of the fight, especially if it's Triple G. You know, Triple G's been talking about moving up versus James Gale. Abel Sanchez does not end Triple G. And at least Abel Sanchez, speaking for Team Triple G, said they are not interested in fighting Jamal Charlo. And it sounds like they're going to move up and try to fight somebody else at 168 and um, not fight Jamal Charlo. Now, Canelo Alvarez, uh, that's a different situation. He talked, Oscar De La Hoya is talking Errol Spence and stuff of that nature. But um, I hope, I, either one, I hope fight Jamal Charlo. You know, um, in my mind, he beat the dog walking shit out of Canelo. There ain't no two ways around it. He beat the shit out of Canelo. You know, I never thought Canelo was that good. People overrating Canelo, but every every step up fight he done fought, it's been close. You know, may it be Trout, may it be uh, Cotto, uh, shit. He could knock out old ass Shane Mosley. And then, you know, it's a possibility that he could have been juicing and cheating for and getting a competitive edge in all those fights. Lara, some people felt like he got a gift decision. And I just feel that Jamal Charlo's style will just be be bad for him. Same way I think Danny Jacobs. People don't understand style make fights. You can, oh, this guy beat that guy. This guy did that. Styles make fights, all right? And those guys are like, you know, four or five, six inches taller than Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? And they got they got athletic ability with their feet. What Lara did, they're going to they do a lot more than what Lara did because are they offensive mindset? But people don't understand that. But it is what it is. Robert's your favorite cheating ass uh, fighter. But um, you know, Triple G would be a different game. I think Triple G brings a different dynamic to the ball game with his with his power punching, um, his body power punching, his uh, his jab is real good. That's gonna be a difficult test for Jamal Charlo. Very very difficult test. But you want to be able to win the belt, and you want to be able to see, be there ringside and let them know that you want that championship belt. You want that shot. See, once you publicly embarrass you know, uh, fighters, then they have no other way but to go ahead and show the uh, audience to show their fan base either they got kahunas or they don't got kahunas and they just babysitting. That's the ultimate uh, litmus test for a lot of fighters. See, Laura pulled up on Canelo Alvarez and Canelo was like, fuck what Oscar talking about. Man, make the fucking fight happen. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to fuck him up for trying to raid on my parade. I think it was after he beat Angulo. And Canelo just showed that, you know, he got balls and it's mostly Oscar that won't don't let one don't want to let him fight who he want to fight for his own personal gain because Canelo was ninety seven percent a golden boy uh, when they opened up the books. But Jamal needs to be there, all right. Jamal needs to be there. Call out them dudes at the press conference. He don't necessarily got to get in the ring and do this and do that. But I do think he needs to be in the vicinity. But I think he already knows what's the next play for both fighters. WBC has relayed that to him and um. He know what the play is, so it, it it ain't no surprise for him if he don't show up. If he do show up, he already know the play is, you know. WBC, like I said once again, been in contact with him, letting him know what happens, what's the scenario gonna be, what the laws they gonna, or what rules they gonna enforce, and they gonna force him to fight him next. He already know. You know, both are scheduled to come back in December if they don't take too much damage in Canelo and Triple G. You know, so you know he just gotta sit and be patient, but. You know, most people want him to go in there and get that FaceTime with Canelo Triple G, but he knows the situation. It ain't no point of going there, and he already know that, you know, Fighter A is going to vacate or Fighter B is going to fight him, and they're going to, they already been secretly negotiating, or the WBC already know what the play is. So, you know, a lot of times the business aspect is already solved behind closed doors, or it's already known. So these fighters already know what's going on. So we, it's a lot of things that we don't know. You know, a lot of this stuff is already orchestrated. It's already a blueprint laid out. Even if two guys don't have the same promoter, I think it's already a kind of a, a, a verbal agreement of what's going to happen. You know, so just something to look out for. Um, something to think about when you, when you don't see your favorite fights happen. They have a timeline. They already know how they want to do it. So y'all know what the business is. The Box the Clinic and more. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Those links are in the description. Shout out to my brother, the Kelly Enigma Sports Network. You working. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. He working. Got that exclusive Anthony Joshua video on the, uh, I think it was on the press call or whatever. I see all the brothers out there working. True Boxing Talk, 7, 8, and Black Fight Fan out there working. So make sure you go follow all the brothers and sisters like Beverly Rose and Ashley Corner 
and an LDBC. And uh, y'all know what it is. It's your premier, um, you know, community for, for boxing talk. And not just boxing talk, basketball, sports, you know, uh, life talk. You got guys talking about living in the 80s and the 90s. The world breaker fighting. Go shout out to him and Junior the Troop. So we bring every different aspect and a lot of different dynamics as well to the uh, YouTube uh, channel and the YouTube community. We gone, though.